The Scotiabank Vancouver Half Marathon and 5K happening on Sunday, June 24th. We're here at Kitts Beach. What a beautiful view actually runs right past here. How much time, Peter, do you actually get to look around when you're running the half marathon? When you're running a race, you're really just looking ahead head and down at the ground and you might you might hear people cheering on the side of the road, but you wouldn't have much of a chance to look at the view here. Well, now I'm doing the 5K, I have to say. I'm not quite at the half marathon level, but I know a lot of our viewers are. What do we need to know about training for that race day? For the half marathon, you want to be building up your long runs so that you're eventually running as long in time as you are in the race. So if you're going to run a two hour half marathon, which is a which is a good, you know, sort of average time in a half marathon, you would be training for about two hours, but you wouldn't run 13.1 uh, miles. You'd run approximately maybe 10 miles or something and allow your body to build up from that distance. And what about speed? What do we need to know about the speed? The speed of long runs yeah. should be slower by about one and a half minutes slower than race pace. So if you're running at uh, say nine minutes a mile, you should be doing your long runs at about 10 and a half minutes a mile. Now, as far as location for training and something here like Kitts Beach is, is nice. A lot of people, maybe they're working out in the gym. What do we need to know about the train that we're training on? Well, the, the course itself is, is got lots of downhill and a little bit of uphill. So you have to be used to running on those on those type of, type of surfaces. So like you want to do some training on the downhills as well as, as well as run, running back up the hill. How important is recovery? Recovery is very important in training. It's the whole reason for improvement. So you want to allow yourself a day or so between a long run and a uh, speed workout that you might do. So if you do your long run on Sunday, you wouldn't want to do your speed work until Tuesday. Should I be carbo loading before I do my training? Um, you should eat a balanced diet throughout. Maybe the day or two before the race or before a long run, you might have an extra plate of pasta or something, but I wouldn't overdo it. Just maybe afterwards be the reward, right? Afterwards, you can reward yourself <laughs> with a glass of wine and a, and a plate of pasta. That sounds like a great idea if you're interested in running the Scotiabank Vancouver Half Marathon or 5K, whatever your choice is, go to vancouverhalf.com.